guys, I want to thank you for being here at the Centitar channel. It's wonderful to have you back. I really enjoy it. If you find that you like any of my content, please like, comment, and subscribe as always. So let's get into it. What do we have today? You see the title, Timbuktu. What an interesting name. What an interesting fragrance. Guys, this is by Les Artisan Parfumeurs. Let's let's look at the let's look at the box real quick. Really nice looking box. Looks a little bit aquatic though. Maybe kind of tribal. Okay. We got an idea of what's going on. Got a deep yellow juice. Interesting design. Kind of tribal. I like it. And of course they have their signature there on the bottom, Les Artisan Parfumeurs. I really like these bottles, even though they're simple. I think they're well put together. Guys, but what matters most is what's in the juice. So what do we have? Guys, Timbuktu is kind of hard to explain. So let me let me do my best. Guys, I looked at the notes. I'll be honest, usually I'm gonna talk about the accords and what the fragrance smells like. If you look up go to Fragrantica and look at the notes, it'll tell you things like ripe mango, balsam. Burrs, uh, smell has like a green accord. They'll tell you that it has all kinds of resins and it has a certain exotic African flower. Guys, this fragrance, um, even though notes are important, what this fragrance really smells like is a slightly spicy, kind of dry feeling, but not particularly, kind of just an exotic, soft fragrance. It wants to be resinous. It wants to almost smell like an amber fragrance or have an amber feel, but it never feels heavy. It never feels dense. Guys, I didn't even think about the mango that was in it, but I did think it was kind of uplifting for a resinous fragrance, for fragrance that has, um, could kind of have a dense, a density to it, especially with things like myrrh, and balsam and all kinds and vetiver and patchouli and things like that but um, this fragrance never smells earthy or dark either somehow it gets the lightest and the brightest qualities of all of these notes I guess you could say it does have a little bit of a green feel because it feels young but I don't feel like this fragrance is green it doesn't feel smell like trees foliage pine anything like that what this fragrance does smell like, in my opinion, after thinking about it, is Jubilation 25. Now Jubilation 25 has um, a beautiful black currant accord. This one has a mango accord, but the mango isn't particularly fruity. It's kind of like the skin of a mango, a ripe skin, not a green skin. Um, so it's just a wonderful and beautiful fragrance soft and spicy if you look up the history of this fragrance with the perfumer he was trying to create a fragrance a fragrance that smelled like africa in africa they have a tradition of kind of lighting uh, incense uh, exotic uh, resins from trees and plants in like a hut or a room and it would perform your prefer, perfume your clothes and all of you know everything in the room for days and it'd be a beautiful smell that's what you get here soft spice kind of kind of um elegant in a way but still calming and special guys if you wanted an amber fragrance and you thought amber was just too heavy guys if you wanted a vetiver fragrance and thought they were just too earthy Guys, if you wanted a patchouli fragrance and thought patchouli was too old school and too sharp, this might do you just right. If you wanted a fragrance like Jubilation 25, thought it was way too expensive and uh, didn't like the black currant kind of feel, um, the black currant that's in um, Cedrop Boise and some other, you know, the Vagabond Prince. It's, they, it can be a really beautiful note, but this one is definitely uh, more casual, but still elegant in a way. It's really unique. 
guys, I'd recommend you get a sniff of it. Um, another fragrance that I believe this one can be compared to is uh, Byredo's Ball de Freak. Ball de Freak is a beautiful fragrance in its own right, but it's more aromatic. It's more soft. I feel that uh, it's a little bit more of a fragrance that smells like a, a city. Um, Byredo's DNA to me smells a little bit like gin. It's, uh, it, I think it's more on the casual side and, um, and unisex side. Even though this fragrance is very unisex, I feel that it's confident and then it leans slightly masculine. So that's another alternative for you. If you wanted, you know, Byredo's uh, Ball de Freak for a cheaper price and a more masculine, you know, take on it. Guys, this is beautiful. I don't think this fragrance is getting the attention that it should. But let's talk about performance. I think I've raved and talked about it a little bit. Um, this one's really interesting too. Sometimes I get a softer projection, noticeable, but only maybe to my elbow. Sometimes I get a fair amount of projection, about arm's length for the most part. So it projects fair, uh, not poor, not really great. It's, it's not beast mode, it's projection. But what it doesn't have in projection, guys, it makes up for it in longevity. Guys, this fragrance consistent, consistently gets me about six and a half to as much as nine hours. And guys, I'm pro I'm pro I tend to over, I mean, under apply fragrances. So if you were to wear four or five sprays of this, you could probably go 12 hours or more. This spray, and if you spray on clothes, this stuff is really going to last, guys. Even though it's an EDT, it's beautiful, it's, um, it's unique, but it's still not too different that it's going to be off-putting. Guys, if you wanted a masculine fragrance, that's still gonna appeal to other people for the holiday season, something that's unique. If you have African heritage, I really encourage you to try this fragrance out. I think it's beautiful. I think it stands up to some of those really unique fragrances that uh, you know other people, I mean other perfumers make when they, you, you know, they create a unique vibe with leather, when they make those really unique spicy accords or amber accords. Guys, this one's a home run. I guess some of y'all want ratings. Let me know in the comments below if y'all do. If I was to give this fragrance a rating, I'd give it a solid, you know, probably a 7.75 out of 10. I guess I'm real picky, but I still think this one's a real winner. Personally, it's probably an 8 out of 10. It's just a great fragrance for any occasion. It doesn't smell, again, it doesn't smell like Jubilation 25, but if you smell them side by side, they both have the uplifting, you know, kind of resinous feel. I really love that feel. I really love that quality in the fragrance, but it has a little bit of a masculine edge. So get your hands on it, guys. I'd encourage you to. I have started putting affiliate links in my description. In full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. So I get a little bit, a very small piece of the pie, but you do get great prices from trusted Amazon. So you get a, you do get a big discount as well. And um, if, if that's something you'd like, let me know. I do, of course, want to be upfront and honest with you. So guys, this has been Les Artisans uh, Timbuk2. Guys, I want to thank you for being here at the Sintatar channel. I'm always trying to improve my style, improve my game. I hope that my energy cam came through today. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time on the Sintatar channel. Bye.